Our main goal in pharmacy at Cedar sinai is to provide patients with safe and effective medication therapy uh, based on underlying diseases and conditions that meet each individual patient's needs. My main goal is to come here and do the best I can for my patient. I may not see them, they may not know who I am, but they're my patient nonetheless. I wanna make sure that they have everything that they need so that they can be comfortable. As far as our interactions with our physician and nursing colleagues, we like to think of it as a three-legged stool. Each unique specialty provides their own area of expertise. Of every order that comes through this, this hospital, every order that's placed by a provider, has its eyes laid on it by a pharmacist to ensure that it's the right dose for the right patient at the right time. As decisions are being made regarding medications, the conversation frequently involves input from all three, the physician, the pharmacist, and the nurse, to determine what is the best course of action. Since the rise of COVID, there's been an even greater focus on our day-to-day -day supply of medications, particularly surrounding a, a subset of critical medications that are needed to treat our sickest COVID patients. Uh, fortunately, we've been able to stay several steps ahead and maintain an adequate supply of medications needed to treat these patients. Beginning of the pandemic, we realized that data was coming at us uh, at a really rapid pace. So we needed to assemble a group of individuals to sift through that data and synthesize it into recommendations for how we would treat our patients at Cedar sinai So early in the pandemic, we had multiple brainstorming sessions between the pharmacists, the nurses, and the physicians because some of our prior strategies had not been working in this particular environment. We really have to put our heads together to figure out what's the most safe and effective way to do that. Then when it clicks and you have that aha moment, it's it's very different because everyone's in a mask, so you can't see the smiles on people's faces, um, but you definitely can see it when their eyes light up and you realize that you've all um, been able to accomplish something uh, quite wonderful. Well, one thing I will say that like, I feel has increased is our communication, especially on my COVID floor. I would just want to come in and try to make the day as easy for everyone as possible. We have a number of clinical trials available for our COVID patients. We have seen a number of patients on our clinical trials go from being quite sick, needing to be in the hospital, to being successfully discharged. One patient in particular sticks out where I developed a very close relationship with the patient's son. He wasn't able to visit because his mom had COVID. And we really got through the struggle of having a loved one be in the hospital together. I updated him frequently on his mom's condition. And I think we were both elated to see his mom go home at the end of it.